In PowerPoint 2013, there are a number of new options that are only available when we are running a PowerPoint presentation. So let's take our Italia presentation, which is available in your working folder, and run it as a slideshow, which we can do using the keyboard shortcut F5, or we can use the little shortcut down here, run slideshow. Shortcuts for moving forward through a presentation are still the same. We can click the mouse, we can press enter on the keyboard, we can use the down arrow, we can use the right arrow, and all of these will take us forward through our PowerPoint presentation. Now we find that in the new version, 2013, we also have a menu down the bottom left hand side. If you take your mouse down here, you've got a back button and a next button. So that will take you to the next active presentation, which may be a new slide or it may just be an animation in the previous slide. The left button goes previous. So we can go backwards and forwards using the menu. Now the reason I've brought you down to the menu are for some of the new things. The third icon here looks like a little pen, pencil. When you give that a click, that allows us to choose pen, highlighter or laser pointer. Let's just move to a slide with some text on and we'll go back in. Now the pen always existed and what it allows you to do is draw on a slide. You can then erase a pen by using the keyboard shortcut E. Or we can go back down to the menu and choose the eraser. As well as the pen, there is a highlighter. Now the highlighter works differently to the pen. You can see it's like using a highlighter, hence its name. Now it too can have its highlights erased by using the E keyboard shortcut. Or if I just put a bit more on, we can go back down to the pen option and choose the eraser. And that will allow you to actually rub out what you've done. So erasing highlighting or erasing pens. Now one of the new options is the laser pointer. And this allows you to point at the screen. So I can point over here, I can point over here. It's not the same as the pen, it doesn't allow you to draw shapes. It's not the same as the highlighter, it doesn't allow you to highlight things, but it's there as an option. Now, having chosen any one of these, so the pen, the highlighter, the laser pointer, your mouse cursor remains as that tool until you use the escape key on the keyboard, at which point it goes back to being an arrow that then allows you to step forward. So let's use our icons to go back one. One of the new tools is the zoom tool. Now this really is a good tool. What this allows you to do, firstly you click and you'll see that it highlights a rectangular area. And as I move the mouse around, that rectangular area changes. So I could move over here, click, and it zooms in to that rectangle. Now I can move the zoom area around using the mouse to drag about. But what I can't do is effectively zoom in further or zooming away, press escape, to revert back to the normal zoom. That obviously works on any slide, so we could go forward through our presentation. Another enhancement to 2013. Now this option did exist before, but wasn't as useful or as easily accessible, is the presenter view. By coming down to the menu at the bottom and choosing the three dots. Now the point of the presenter view is that it should be running on another machine while you're running the slideshow on say a projector or a second monitor but we can move into presenter view having a single monitor and see what that looks like. And you'll see the presenter view shows you where you are in the presentation. If there were any notes on a slide, they would display in the notes area. If you bear in mind that the presenter view would be running on your second monitor, you can see how this could be quite useful to allow you to move through a presentation, to activate any of the laser pointer, pen or highlighter tools that we've just seen, to even do a zoom in, and zoom out and even hide slides by blacking out the screen and unblacking. If at any point looking at presenter view, we want to go back to the slideshow, we use the three dots and come to hide presenter view, which will then move you back into the actual slideshow on the slide we're on at the moment. And then the last of the new options for when you're running a slideshow is actually to see all the slides. Come down to our little new menu at the bottom here and choose view all slides and it actually shows us all the slides in your current presentation. So you can look through and pick up at a different point. So I could jump totally to a different part of the presentation. It may be that somebody in the audience has asked you a question and you can say, just a moment, I can answer that by going back to this slide or jumping to this slide that I already have. So you come down to the menu at the bottom, view all the slides, scroll through to the appropriate place, and we pick up from that point 
in the presentation. So these are new presentation tools to go with PowerPoint 2013. The zoom tool, the laser tool, the pen and the highlighter straight from the menu within a slideshow.